Hi, rock stars. Welcome to the Retail Leasing Playbook podcast, where I go chapter by chapter in my book, the Retail Leasing Playbook, and give you some tidbits on each chapter. Today, we'll be talking about chapter 42. Don't forget, when you give, you must get. I find that this policy of mine uh, often doesn't get acted upon. I have leasing agents who reach out and say, this deal's never going to get done. And then they tell me the story and the tenant asks and then they give. And then the tenant asks and then the landlord gives. And I say to my student, hey, until you stop giving, they're going to keep asking. You're training them to keep asking. So the opposite of that is the next time a prospect calls and says, look, I want to do the deal. If you can just give me another month of half rent, if instead of you saying, okay, and then tomorrow he calls with with one more thing, say, well, if I give you another half month of rent, I'm going to need to raise the rent five cents a square foot, or I'm going to need to reduce the TI by 50 cents. Something, it doesn't have to be equal what you're asking for, but you just have to go back with, in the, in the policy of what I say, if you give, you must get. So I had a situation once where a patio store, I was negotiating with a patio store, and we made a deal, and the guy calls and says, and I send him the lease, and he calls and says, hey, what's this guarantee? And I said, I told you we needed a personal guarantee. And he said, I know, but you didn't tell me that you wanted my wife to sign on it. And I said, Jimmy, in Florida, I have to have your wife, you and your wife, or the guarantee isn't valid. And he said, well, that wasn't the deal. My wife's not part of the business. She's not signing on the personal guarantee. And I said, okay, Jimmy, no problem. We'll give up on the guarantee but then you don't get the $10 a square foot in TI. So you choose, you know, if I give you the no guarantee, then I get back the TI. And what else is great about this is, A, it stops them from continuing to come back and ask. And it also puts the onus on them to make the choice and make the decision. So Jimmy said, well, I need that TI. I said, oh, I understand. But then if you need the TI, I need the guarantee. So he goes, I said, look, if we can't make it happen, I'm so sorry. Maybe we can do a deal in the future because I kind of wanted to, you know, shut the door on any future or further negotiations. So we hang up the phone. He calls back in 20 minutes. I don't take the call. And then he calls back in another 20 minutes. I pick up. And he says, okay. I go, okay, what? He goes, she'll sign the guarantee. So whenever the guy, and I, and I recently had a, another situation with a student who was working on a chiropractor deal. And she said, you know, can, can I call you and talk about a deal I'm working on? It just is never ending. And um, the guy's, you know, I don't, I don't think he's for real. So she calls me up. We have a conversation and it's the same thing. First, he calls about a rent reduction. Then he calls for more TI. Then he calls for more construction time. And I said, every time he's called to ask you guys for something, you've given him something. And she said, well, we haven't given what he's asked for. And I said, I understand, but you've gave him something without exchange of him giving something back. And she said, yes, that's right. I said, you need to stop. The minute you stop giving then he'll sign the lease or he'll walk from the deal. But I doubt he spent so much time and effort on this deal, on this negotiations. If he wasn't serious, he wouldn't have hung along and be pushing and trying to negotiate. So she said, okay. She she called him up. She said, this is the best we can do. And we understand if you're not interested and you can't do the deal, uh, we're sorry, but we cannot do any more. And he said, um, okay, then we're, you know, we're probably not going to move forward. And she said, okay. And then two days later, three days later, he calls and he signed the lease. So don't make it, don't create the problem. Okay. 
if they come back, if you've made a deal and they come back and ask for one more thing and you think, okay, it's just one more thing and I'm going to get the lease signed, it, I promise you it won't end there. So if they come back with one more thing, you need to come back with one more thing as well. If you give, you must get. I hope you enjoyed this podcast today. And if you did, share it with some people, write a review and subscribe. I look at my stats every once in a while and I see that 80% of the people who listen to the podcast don't subscribe. So subscribe so you can get an alert when I post a new podcast. Thanks everyone. <laughs>